Let's look at a few examples of target molecules whose functional group pattern leads us to a Claisen condensation reaction. So in this first example, we have a 1,3 dicarbonyl, 1, 2, 3, happens to be a beta ketoester, but it's that 1,3 dicarbonyl that we're looking for that will point to a Claisen condensation. So our focus is going to be on the alpha carbon, and we can disconnect on either side, but if we disconnect on this side, we're going to get more nearly equal um, components in our starting materials. That's always a nice goal for a disconnection. And um, so the alpha carbon, as usual, is going to be our nucleophile. This was the nucleophile as an enolate, which means this carbon was my electrophile. Okay, and how do I make that carbon, what does that electrophile look like so that it still is a carbonyl? What I have to put on here is a leaving group. So if I use an ester as my um, electrophile, then that's going to give us a carbonyl after my nucleophile does an addition and then elimination. In other words, an acyl substitution. The other component looks like this. So again, if I highlight my nucleophilic center, the alpha carbon, my electrophilic center, the carbonyl carbon, and when we uh, compare the two structures, we see, in fact, that it's a self claisen condensation. So just starting with, let's see, one, two, three, four, ethyl butyrate uh, in some base would give us our target molecule of after workup. Uh, let's, our next one is a little more interesting because it, once we focus on the alpha carbon, we actually can think about doing a disconnection in either direction. Let's look at both of those. Disc disconnection A would open up the ring. So a lot of times when I do a disconnection, sometimes it helps. Let's try and do that. Let's draw the five-membered ring. And then when I do a disconnection, I'm going to literally erase the bond that I've disconnected, and then I adjust each piece as needed. So here's my alpha carbon. I don't need to adjust anything here. That will become nucleophilic when I uh, add in some base. And here's my electrophilic carbon on this side. And once again, in order to do the Claisen condensation, in order to maintain the carbonyl, I add on a leaving group. So if I had this diester and I reacted it with ethoxide, uh, followed by workup, it could do an intramolecular Claisen condensation called the Dieckmann condensation. Uh, how about disconnection B? That disconnection would leave our ring intact, so we would have cyclopentanone as one of our components. It's the alpha carbon of the cyclopentanone that we can make nucleophilic by deprotonating, have an enolate there. Uh, and let's take let's look more closely at this electrophile because this is interesting. We want this carbon to be electrophilic, but we want to maintain the carbonyl. So it's like we need a, another. And so what we could do is think about the synthetic equivalent for this. What if we had a second ethoxy group in that attached to that carbonyl? So this compound is called diethyl carbonate, and that would be a great electrophile to use here because when the enolate attacks the carbonyl. When the enolate attacks the carbonyl, and we do addition and then elimination of one of the ethoxy groups, and we get out that uh, uh, ester group attached at the alpha position. So either of these disconnections would work well to make the target molecule, and actually the second approach is not uh, a Claisen condensation, but it uses the same logical disconnection that we would have when we do the retrosynthesis of a 1,3-dicarbonyl target molecule. Uh, positive charge there.